Jacob. I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Honestly, it's too cold outside. Yeah, it's way too cold. <laughs> 2018 Volkswagen Beetle. Coast edition. And you know what that means? Surfer edition? Yes, and you know how I know? How? Because I watched the ad. Okay, well it helps that you watch the ad for the car that we're driving. I really like car commercials and I feel like they tell a lot about the car. Yeah, so and what was in the ad? We got a surfer chick in a convertible coast. How cliche of them. Looking out her balcony, drives down to the beach. I think she rents a surfboard because it wasn't in the Volkswagen. Yeah, it was a convertible, but there was no board in it. But she went surfing and then she left without a board as well. But it lets you know right away, coast means surfing. Yes, it's also the middle trim though. Okay, top trim is the dune and lower trim is the trend line. It's cool that they gave it normal names and not like CX, LX. For sure. BX. <laughs> but the trend line should have been called something cooler like trendy. If they're gonna change the other ones, because normally it's trend line, high line, that kind of stuff. I like the way it is. This is marketed at beach and surfers. Yes. But it fits boards. Yes. It fits snowboards. <laughs> With the back seats down, it actually fit a snowboard. It'd probably fit two snowboards and two people and all their gear. Not three though. Not three. Two definitely though. Yeah. And we did the box test. Oh yeah. Six? Maybe. Six. Not the worst. Back to the car. Yes. You know what I hate the most about this beetle? No. The color. Yeah. Honestly. It's, yeah. It's, I am so disappointed that the first Beetle I'm driving is not red or yellow. <laughs> like, come on. If it was yellow, we'd just be like punching each other the whole time. It's we? fine. It's fine. <laughs> what makes this the Coast Edition? Well, this beautiful surf wood interior. Which is standard in every single Coast. Yes. And it's different from every other model because every other model gets a color match interior. And then we got these chrome smoothie wheels. Yes. As an economy car, this has a lot of good features. We got a big sunroof. Yeah. Not much rear seat room. No, not at all. But enough for me to sit behind myself with just enough comfort to make it through like a 45 minute trip. Yeah, but not behind me. No, God, no. No, I God, couldn't even no. sit behind you. It's it, a nice interior. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's not the most upscale, but again, this is the middle trim. It's not supposed to be. I uh, have a little pet peeve in here. Piano black. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> like the worst spot, come on. This is a beach edition, right? Yeah. What do you do? You go to the beach, you leave your car there for a couple hours, and you come back, you roll down the window, you put your elbow on it, and you freaking burn it. And it's gloss black and, from the sun. And you leave sunscreen on there? Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Please don't put gloss black here, and especially this much of it. Ah, uh, whatever. I know why they did it, because they color match it in every other car. So in a red one, you'd get oh, red. Oh, that makes sense. I get it, but it's like, ugh. We have the exact same drivetrain as the Passat we just drove. So we have a two liter turbo and a six speed non-dual clutch, 174 horsepower. So we've got a slow Volkswagen. Well, it's a little bit better because it weighs like 250 pounds less and it actually shows. I okay. think it's a little better. I don't dislike it as much as the previous Passat horsepower. But it's slow. It's not fast. But it's not meant for people who want a fast car. Not at all. It's you got you got Tanner Faust's Volkswagen for people who want a fast car. Oh, can you buy that? No, I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. It's like, come on, make a Miata version <laughs> of the Volkswagen Beetle. So a rear wheel drive, rear, rear wheel engined. Drive, convertible. Yeah. That would be sick. I would buy that. Not rear engine, front engine, rear wheel drive. I want front I want rear engine, rear wheel drive. Okay, that would be cool. Yeah. Just the donut machine. That would be cool, yeah. <laughs> That's a real throwback considering the original Beetle. <laughs> yeah, Tanner Faust should be driving this Beetle, the Coast Edition on races. Yeah, yeah, let's see how he would do with yeah. that. The auto is okay, just like the one in the Passat. It's not great, it's always down in gear, but if you're a person that lives in the city, you don't really care about that, you're not here to race this car. It's always down in gear, even in sport mode. When yeah. I say down, I mean up. It's up one gear? Yes, it's in fourth when you want it in third. There okay. we go. You can't get a manual anymore though, only autos in the Beetle. Yeah, so it's a throwback, but no throwback to the transmission. They probably wouldn't sell any, so I kind of get it, but it sucks. Yeah, man, what a world we live in. You can't sell standard transmissions. Yeah, no one buys them. Nobody wants rear-wheel drive. No one knows how to drive rear-wheel drive or manual. The Chevy SS <laughs> died. Yeah. The Chevy SS was being sold as a discounted car. <laughs> man. I know. But I guess uh, this is meant for people who want a Volkswagen Beetle. You're here for the style. Yeah. You want a Volkswagen Beetle. Yes. That's why you buy this car. Yeah, because otherwise you can get like a Civic or a Kia Soul. How about a Fiat? Yeah. Or a Mini Cooper. Yes. That's all the competition for this. Well, any compact car, basically. All right, since people don't really care about power, let's see how handling is. And cliche corner handling test. 
in it's not bad in snow tires in winter yeah middle of winter it's freezing not the worst no multi-link rear suspension you actually get that on a beetle which is pretty cool i've always liked the beetle you know which beetle i like the most though what the first retro beetle what year did that come out 97. yeah okay that one was better looking than this one i think really i think so i think they tried to make this one a little bit more masculine i think it looks perfect for a 2018 car what, yeah 2012 because that's when they remodeled it okay but like i think it's a perfect representation of a classic car in 2018. yes like this looks like what it should do with enough going back to the beetle yeah but i like the retro rear version retro rear yes that's a word speaking of retro rear yeah retro okay this is the only car from the 90s retro stuff that still exists prowler uh, yeah gone thank god as a ssr oh gone thank what? god HHR. Oh, this is a really good list of cars that are gone. Shh. And then we got the PT Cruiser. Oh my God. Thunderbird. Yeah, okay, that was terrible too. What? That was terrible. Okay. The original the, was amazing. Of all the cool 90s retro throwbacks, this is the only one that still exists. Yes, but 2000s retro throwbacks, Mustang. Okay, but that was only retro for like a couple years and then they made it like a wicked sports car. Yeah, it's still retro-ish. Barely. Not as retro as this is though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me drive my retro car. You really want to drive this? I love the retro cars. This has so much style because it has the style package. Is there a style package? Oh yeah. Okay. There's one option and we have it. Perfect. Okay, I need to like dislocate my arm to get the seatbelt, actually. Yeah. Well, it's coupe problems. The steering wheel is nice. It's like thin but wrapped. Yeah, it's leather wrapped. It's part of this package. And it's D-shaped. Yes, it is. And we have a leather wrapped manual handbrake. So we do have the style package, which is $2,000. What do you get for that $2,000? You get those nice headlights and fog lights. So you can get worse headlights than this? Oh yeah. Not saying these headlights are bad, but I they're like kind them. of weird. I like them. They're like built-in eyelashes. Yeah, well, that's kind of the demographic this is probably gonna yeah, buy, so. they're cutesy wootsy. Exactly. I like the 1997 one a lot more. And even the taillights on the older version, I liked more. Really? Yeah. Well, part of the style package on this one, we get nice LED ones. Two, I think they look good. They, they look good, but they're too 2018 for me. Yeah, but we're in 2018. I know, but I like retro. And so buy the old one. Retro. No, this is for people that want the updated 2018. They want updated headlights and taillights. Yes. And I think the best part of it, Fender Audio. Fender, okay, yeah. It was really good in the Passat. It's really good in this. The branding of Fender matches the style of this car. Exactly. Overall, I think $2,000 is a bit steep for the style package, but... You get a lot of nice stuff. It's you, just you got to ball out when you get a brand new Beetle. Maybe like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I guess. So you like the Volkswagen Infotainment? I really like it. Same one from the Passat. Yes. Same one from the E Golf. Very similar. Is that spinning volume power knob button an extra feature? Yeah, yeah. That's for the OCD people. That's the special touch. So how do you get around this spinning volume knob? Okay, we've got two ways to do it. I like my way, which is have it in the center and then turn it on and then only adjust the volume with the steering wheel controls on the left and then it always stays centered. And my method is turn it up to the volume you want, push in to turn off the volume, turn it back up so it's level, and then click it again. But I'm not OCD, so I just leave it wherever. If yeah. anything, I put it the wrong way so other people have to suffer. I did that too. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the analog clocks when it's off, which I like, obviously, like watches. See our other videos for in-depth infotainment on Volkswagen. Yes. We do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is fantastic. We got a nice sunglass holder on the dashboard. Yes, multiple sunglasses. Maybe even sunscreen to block you from the sun, right? Visor oh, test time. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, that was a good transition, Jacob. Here Three, we go. two, one. No! Oh! oh! oh that's a 50% pass. <laughs> or fail, depending on which way you look at it. You know what? I can't believe that. Passengers aren't important. They can grab one of their sunglasses to block the sun. That's weird though. I'm confused. Why would they do that? I'm speechless. I was not expecting that. No. <laughs> we do have regular cruise, not adaptive, but the stock to adjust it is really annoying. It's your turn signal stock. Oh. It's your left one. So it's only on the left you have to press the buttons to start it, and then on the top is a mini cancel button. Okay, that's weird, but yeah. I'm sure you get used to it. You do get used to it, but I've hit the turn signal while trying to adjust my speed on the highway. Okay, that's not good. No. Speaking of not good, there's some complaints you had about the gauges. Yes, they're very basic. I like them, but I hate the fact that the gas gauge is huge. It's as big as the RPM gauge. What's wrong with that? Why do you need a gas gauge that's that big? It's I a, want like a temperature gauge. 
you want a temperature gauge, do you think the person buying this needs a temperature gauge? I guess not. No. They need to see how many waves there are at the ocean gauge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's the tide gauge? Yeah. <laughs> tide. That's the word I was looking for. We can look at the coolant temperature and oil temperature, which is nice, but the person that's looking at it doesn't know if 90 degrees is hot or cold. It's just 90 degrees. So there should be an indicator that tells you something. Yeah, I guess. Style-wise, this thing kind of looks like a Porsche from the side. Yeah, well, Volkswagen Beetle. I mean, yeah, made by Ferdinand Porsche. Porsche, yeah. But I, I like I like the profile. Yeah. We got a nice spoiler. Yes, we do. It's mini, but it's there. Yuri, what's the latest trend in automotive modifying right now? Stance? Yes, and wide body. Okay, oh. This wide is, body this cars. This comes with a Liberty Walk? This is a Liberty <laughs> Walk wide body kit stock. This is probably the widest fender flares you can get from the factory, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we thought the Veloster Turbo had cool flares. No, these are next level. Everybody with your wide body GTRs, your Aventadors, you should be thanking the Beetle for wide bodies. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and Jeeps. We also have blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. So if you're backing up, which this has a backup camera, that flips open and it makes a really loud, annoying noise, which I don't like again. Does not bother me at all. I think mechanical stuff is cool. However, in today's weather, I really appreciate it because it's always clean. Yes. Always okay, clean. Okay, so who's the complainer now? I'm a complainer, but I understand it and I like it. I don't like how there's no lines that turn when you turn the steering wheel. Yeah, well, who's the complainer now? Man, Yeah. get out of here. We both are. I'd like to also add that this Beetle has one of the greatest features for a 2018 car. Which is? An actual button to control heat seaters. Wait, you said heat seaters. Seat heaters? Yes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> seat heaters. I had to clarify that in case people didn't understand what this what a seat heater was. Heat seater. Heat seater. Okay, whatever. I that can't even say it wrong. So it has a seat heater button. Yes, which is great. It also has a lot of blank buttons for no reason. Yeah, I don't a know. A lot of them. Hard. But for twenty-seven thousand dollars, not Canadian. bad. Canadian. Canadian, yeah. Don't get upset, Americans. I don't think they're getting upset. I think they're just getting confused. Yeah. Some people get really upset in the comments over the price. They're like, 27, I paid 16 for mine. Yeah, okay, that's true. They get upset. So please leave an angry comment below for how much you paid for your Volkswagen Beetle in How much US. less US you paid than the Canadian $27,000 yeah. price. We wanna know. Yeah. We really wanna know. Yeah. Please leave more comments. Yes. About the price. What do you think about the design of the seats? Oh, I love it. I think it looks so cool. Exclusive to the Coast Edition. And it's cool hounds too. It's got a cool stripe and you can see it nice and bright from outside the car looking in. Yeah. They're comfortable enough. For a long distance drive, I would suffer. For short city stuff, not bad. When you adjust the lumbar properly, it's better. Here's a quirk. Are we allowed to use that word? We can try. Okay, here we go. Close that, not fully closed. Oh. It's pretty cool, so it still lets in light. I will, I will allow that quirk. I'm gonna call Doug. Hey, Doug, leave a comment. Well, he did a visor test, so we're allowed to say cork once. It's true. So if you want to buy a Volkswagen Beetle... You buy a Volkswagen Beetle. It exists? Yeah. And it's not bad? No. Cool colors? Yes. Not this color, though. No, you got to get the base model to get the super bright colors. Cool options? Yes. Style package? The marketing is still marketed towards surfers? Yes, surfer women, specifically. It's good. Just, Just saying. This or the Mini Cooper? Which one's cuter, not better? Oh, um, I think the Beetle is cuter. Yeah, I think you're right. The Mini Cooper is pretty cute, but my wife was really excited when I came home in the Beetle. Leave a comment, which car is cuter? Yes, and subscribe, and hit the bell, that notification bell, so you get all of our videos. All of our videos! Subscribe and watch them. This or the Kia Soul Turbo to drive every day? Uh, Kia Soul Turbo. Kia Soul Turbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But this is cuter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>